In this video, we're going to take a look at translation management with WPML. And by translation management, I mean taking a post or page or any other piece of content and getting it to the appropriate translator, who then will translate that content and send it back to the appropriate place. Let me show you how that works. We're here at the WordPress dashboard, and we want to go down to WPML and then choose Translation Management. Now this is the translation dashboard, but before we go over this, there are a few other things I need to show you. First, let's look under the multilingual content setup. The vast majority of things on this page you can probably leave at default, but there are a couple I recommend changing and I want to show you. Let's go down to the fourth section here, Translated Documents Options. Now the default was same as the original document and I changed mine to draft. Same as the original document means that if the original document was set to publish, then when the translator is complete, the translation automatically publishes. I prefer having it go to draft so that it can be reviewed before publish. For page URL, I recommend one of the first two. The first is the way WordPress operates out of the box. The second allows you to override that and create a good translation. The third one uses machine learning, and I don't recommend it. Now the next thing I want to show you before we move on is the Translators tab. This is where you control who translates, specifically dealing with local translators. And by local, I mean users who have accounts on this website, as opposed to users from an outside service. Right now we have one, and it's me, Topher, and we're going to add another. Now before you can use the search box, you must choose languages. So we're going to go from English to Spanish. And now you can simply start typing and it will find users. Then you click a name and add translator. There, now Kyle is also a translator. For each translator, you can optionally remove, manage language pairs, or simply edit all languages. But let's take a look at how to use these translators. We'll go to the translation dashboard, and as you can see here, we have all of the translatable items. And they're in various statuses. There's a complete one, one with notes, an incomplete one, etc. Now to find the thing we want to translate, we can use this excellent search bar. I want to translate a post. And here are my three posts. I'm going to click one, and at the bottom, I can choose to translate, duplicate, or do nothing. I'm going to choose translate, and I only have Spanish. So I'll add the selected content to the translation basket. Now you can see an alert that the items we selected are in the translation basket. And you can also see this bright red one on the tab. Now until we take care of this batch, we can't use this search field anymore. So let's click translation basket and take care of it. Now here you can see the one item I added. If I added more, they would all be listed here. You could optionally remove one at a time or clear the basket, but we want to translate. So we scroll down here and at the top is a batch name. Now this is a completely arbitrary name just for your use. It simply helps you remember what you put in this batch. So I'm going to call mine DIY post English. Then we're going to choose a translator. Now, if we leave it at first available, then translators will be able to browse the list of things to be translated and choose them. Or we can optionally assign one. I'm going to assign this one to Topher. There's also a suggested deadline. And again, this is arbitrary and deals with your own timeline for translating. But now let's send all items for translation. And now it's sent. Now we can check the status of this job by clicking Translation Jobs tab, or we can click that same tab up here. Now here you can see this job waiting to happen. It says waiting for translator because the translator has not done anything at all yet. An email was sent to the Topher user, alerting me to the fact that I have an item to translate. And I could click a link in that email to go directly to translation. or I can open the Translations tab, and here's my Translations queue. Now I can view Original, and I can see what's going to happen here. And then I can either translate or resign. 
If I resign, it simply puts this out for any available translator. If I click Translate, then I can come in here and translate. Now for the title, I'm going to put in this text and mark Translation Complete. But I'm going to leave the body text as incomplete, and the category translation happens automatically because it comes from WordPress. So now I click Save and Close, and I'm 66% complete. Now if we go to Posts, you'll see that we still have zero Spanish posts. The page for this translation has not yet been completed. I'm going to click Translate, and I'm just going to send over the English body text so I can mark it as complete. And now if I reload the Posts archive, you'll see that there's one in Spanish and there's one in Draft, and they are in fact the very same one. Now the Translation Manager just got an email when this was sent to Draft. And so that Translation Manager can come in and view the post and mark it as published or not. The quick way to do that is simply go to Quick Edit and change the status to Published. There we are. Now if we come back to the Translations page, you'll see that it's still here, but it's marked as complete. It's not impossible that the original translator missed a word or did it slightly wrong, and so another translator could still come in and click Edit and change this post. If we go back to Translation Management and reload, you'll see that it is also still listed here, but again, marked complete. If we go back to the dashboard, you'll see that it still comes up in a search for posts, but it has a green check, again, marking it complete. So let's review. First, we checked off our item and then added it to the translation basket. In the translation basket, we assign a translator. Once the translator is assigned, that translator comes to the translations page and clicks the translate button. When it's marked as complete, then the post is saved as a draft and the translation manager gets an email. Then the translation manager has the option either to publish it or to go back to the translator and say, hey, you missed something, you should fix this. In our next video, we'll take a look at how to connect your site with the Aclero Translation Service.